Living in the IT Era, Second Semester 2020 to 2021. Good day, students. Welcome to this subject, LIE or Living in the IT Era. But before I start, I would like to congratulate all of you that despite of this pandemic and adapting this new normal, we still managed to continue and pursue what we started. I know most of you are BS forestry students, so why study this subject LIE when you are Bachelor of Science in Forestry students? It's because we are living in an era where technological advances are common. Someday, you will become foresters and you will apply for a job. And the basic qualification to get a job is to have a general understanding about computers and technologies. So you should know the basic operations of computer and devices such as sending emails, uh, storing and retrieving data, multimedia and graphics, data privacy, and many, many more about it. So we... We learned ICT because it helped us work faster and it, it may give answers to your questions through internet. So today, I will discuss with you the first topic of this subject. Our first topic is about Overview of Information and Communication Technology or ICT. What does the term ICT mean? The term ICT is generally accepted to mean all technologies that allow people and organizations to interact with the digital world. So ICT refers to all devices, network components, applications, and systems that facilitate interaction with the digital world such as computers, televisions, uh, your cell phones, radios, and internet. So, what does ICT do? ICT is used to create or distribute, store, manage information, and communication. Um, so, ICT helps organizations, businesses, and individuals just like us, students and instructors. We use this kind of communication with the use of digital technologies. So example of ICT is voice conversation, email, processing data via computer applications, and a lot of things. So these are the components of ICT. Cloud computing, software, hardware, transactions, communications technology, data, and internet access. So let's discuss these components one by one. First is cloud computing. Cloud computing describes data centers available to many users over internet. So instead of buying or owning and maintaining physical data centers and servers, you can access technology services such as computing, storage, and databases from the cloud provider such as Amazon Web Services. Cloud computing includes consumer services like Gmail or, or the cloud backup of the photos of your smartphone through the services which allow large enterprises to host all their data and run all their applications in the cloud. In my situation, um, I always back up my photos and contacts to the cloud so that my phone will not, um, the storage of my phone will not easily pull and even if I use new phone or another phone, I can still retrieve the photos and contacts because it was stored in the cloud. So with cloud computing, businesses can become more agile um, introduces expenses and you can deploy uh, transactions globally in just minutes. Another component of ICT is software. Software is a set of instructions, data, and program used to operate computers and execute specific tasks. 
Software is often divided into two, the system software and application software. So the software system um, it helps uh, it helps run the computer hardware and the computer system itself. The system software includes operating systems, uh, device drivers, the diagnostic tools, and more. System software um, is almost always pre-installed on your computer. That's the moment when you turn on your computer, the system software is running. Examples of system software are Microsoft Windows and Linux. So the system software installed in the laptop is Microsoft Windows. I think yours too is Microsoft Windows. So the application software, it is designed to fulfill a specific function or set of functions. It includes word processing, uh, what else? Uh, web browsing, and almost other tasks for which uh, you might install software. Some characteristic examples for application software is um, the MS Office or the Microsoft Office, the Photoshop, and the games which you can research in your App Store. Uh, once installed, the application software it does not start running until the user uses a command. Hardware Hardware is opposite of software because hardware refers to the physical elements that make up a computer or, or electronic system and everything else involved that is physically tangible. Tangible means uh, you can touch it physically. This includes monitor, hard drive, memory, and CPU. Hardware and software are interconnected, which means Without software, the hardware of the computer would, ha would have no function. However, without the creation of hardware to perform tasks directed by software via CPU, software would be useless too. So therefore, hardware and software are interconnected. Another component of ICT is digital transaction. Digital transaction is an online or automated transactions which take place between people and organization without the use of paper. The main objective of this transaction is to save time, money, and improve customer experience. An example of digital transaction is the enrollment process of CSU. So you save your time because the enrollment is easy with just some clicks to your computer and like to the face to face you need to call um you need to call in a long line with the crowd and so you also save money because the transaction is automated so you save fare your lunch and other expenses communication technology refers to all equipment and programs that are used to process and communicate information. It is also translated to information technology. So this one is the component of ICT because it helps us communicate through the use of technology and programs like social media platforms, emails, uh, what else, uh, group forums, etc. Digital data. Digital data is data that represents other forms of data using specific machine language systems that can be interpreted by various technology. Binary system is the basic for all the data representation. So, what is binary systems? Uh, binary systems uses the combination of two numerals, uh, the ones and zeros or on and off values to be interpreted by uh, by a technology so computers um, use the binary number systems to manipulate and store all the data including numbers 
words, videos, graphics, music, and etc. And the last component is internet access. Internet access is the process of connecting to the internet using the computer device by user or enterprises. So, what are the different ways to obtain internet access? So, the, there are different ways, including wireless connection, uh, mobile connection, hotspot, dial-up, broadband, DSL, or, or satellite. So, are ISP or internet service providers such as PLDT, Globe, Smart, uh, they provide access to the internet either via phone lines, cable television lines, or satellite connection. So, without the access of the internet in these times of pandemic, uh, there will be hard time for students to adapt new normal way of learning and studying the lesson. So, ICT has impact to the society. ICT has drastically changed how people work, communicate, learn, and live. ICT supports broad shifts in society as individuals and masses are moving from personal face-to-face -face interactions to once in the digital space. So there are positive impacts of ICT. So what are those? These are some of the positive impacts of ICT. In health, computerized machine help diagnose illnesses. Keeping and tracking medical records became more efficient. Medical professionals can easily communicate from different locations, thus uh, providing a joint and improved healthcare services. Another positive impact of ICT is in education. Teaching methods became more effective and have variations. Study shows that the use of audiovisuals are more appealing to students, of course including me. The use of ICT in education can provide opportunities such as distance learning, like what we are doing now, where students can access teaching materials from all over the world. In business, the transaction is easier and faster, data processing is less prone to errors, and the information can easily be stored and retrieved from, from a very long time. Communication Communication allows people with different language to understand each other because it has translations. In personal, ICT brings us closer to our loved ones. It connects us from the it connects us to the people away from us. Shopping is online. Updates it gives updates to what is happening in the in the other country or to our own country itself. It gives news, uh, updates of the weather and the disease control or even the disasters. Entertainment is also a positive impact of ICT. Despite of the positive impact of ICT, it brought negative changes to our society. This is one of the largest negative effects of ICT, the loss of person's job. For example, some companies refer to have robots than people. Another negative impact is the privacy is less. It may cause physical illness and laziness because ICT reduced physical activities. Uh, this can lead to health problems such as obesity, um, heart diseases, what else, um, diabetes. Next is it reduced personal interaction. Yeah, it's true because we uh, sometimes people are busy communicating with the people far from them but sometimes they forgot to interact with the people near to them 
So students, what do you think about ICT personally? Did it give positive impact to you or more on negative? So that's the overview of ICT and I hope you understand our first topic. Thank you.